The Federation of Investment Managers Malaysia or FIMM proudly presents the findings from our Investors Financial Literacy Survey on Unit Trust Schemes, Private Retirement Schemes and Retirement Planning. The survey stemmed from FIMM's nationwide survey, which was carried out in 2019, where limited knowledge was found to be one of the main challenges or barriers when it comes to investing in UTS and PRS. Also, many respondents expressed their doubts in meeting their retirement goals. The Investors Financial Literacy Survey aims to explore the following. 1. To better understand investors and non-investors' financial literacy levels and investment behaviour. And 2. To enable FIMM and the industry to develop effective educational and awareness programmes relating to UTS, PRS and retirement planning. This survey received almost 5,000 responses across Malaysia and was carried out by an online survey platform throughout July 2021. Here are the key takeaways from the survey. Firstly, unit trust schemes and private retirement schemes have become prominent investment choices among investors. Besides that, PRS investors remain invested due to the 3,000 ringgit tax relief. However, the 3,000 ringgit is deemed insufficient. Most respondents are digitally savvy, and they want to see more fintech and AI adoptions in UTS and PRS transactions. Despite that, investors still prefer to have human interaction when making investment decisions. In general, investors are satisfied with UTS or PRS consultants, pre-sales or onboarding services. However, after-sales services can be further improved. Investors and non-investors expressed the concerns of investing in UTS and PRS, such as 1. Price fluctuations that resulted in either profit or loss. 2. Less returns will be received if investments are redeemed within a shorter period. And 3. The inability to achieve their retirement goal if they start investing closer to retirement age. Hence, both investors and non-investors need education on goal-based investing. Equipping them with such knowledge could overcome these concerns. In general, the following are the recommendations relating to UTS and PRS investment, such as increasing PRS tax relief, more adoption of fintech and AI solutions, carrying out effective investment awareness programs and upskilling UTS and PRS consultants. Secondly, UTS and PRS literacy among non-investors is concerning, where at least two-thirds are unaware of information about investing in UTS and PRS. There are three areas of focus for industry education for both investors and non-investors that can be carried out by FIMM and industry players. 1. Promoting FIMM's roles and responsibilities to investors and non-investors is crucial to educating the public about the right platform to channel their complaints against UTS and PRS consultants. There are some areas on UTS that investors and non-investors are not aware of, including that investments in UTS should be a long-term investment, UTS returns are not taxable at investors' level, and wakaf funds can be invested by both Muslim and non-Muslim investors. Hence, creating awareness on five UTS areas is the second focus for industry education. And three, creating awareness on five PRS areas, such as requirement to open an account with Private Pension Administrator PPA and nomination for PRS investment. As such, implementing targeted educational and awareness programs, as well as enhancing awareness on FIMM's roles and responsibilities, 
other recommendations in relation to increasing Malaysian's literacy on UTS and PRS investment. Finally, on retirement planning literacy, many plan to retire between the age of 51 to 60 and their main sources of income during retirement are savings or investment returns and pension or EPF savings. 91% of respondents depend on EPF savings for their retirement but 67% will run out of their EPF savings if they live until 75 years old. Notwithstanding, majority of the respondents have good retirement plan and retirement planning knowledge. However, they cannot afford to retire as they do not have sufficient retirement funds due to high cost of living and tough economic times. As such, we are recommending educational and awareness programs on retirement planning and how UTS or PRS and proper investment strategies can help in achieving retirement goals. With these findings and recommendations, we hope the literacy level on UTS and PRS investment will improve moving forward.